Some days the Isle of Man delivers races that will absolutely change your life, and other days it just rains. This is day six of the Manx Grand Prix 2022. Not entirely sure who's going to win today. Could be the rain, could be the racing. We're just going to have to wait and see. Stolen one of Stuart Hall's chairs to sit in the bottom paddock. Stuart, how are you going, mate? Oh, very good, thank you. Pleased to meet you. Fastest privateer finisher in the 2017 lightweight race. Doing it all off your own back. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is this is a bike. It's a new bike to me. I've another five years to pay for it. Would you believe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've had two years paying for it with, with COVID, but another five to go, and we're all right. So we're definitely a privateer. And enjoying the week so far? Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, this is this is my reason for for racing a race. 31 years now, so I um, decided that, I mean, I want to come to the Isle of Man before I finish racing, Yeah. and that was 11 years ago, and I'm still coming now, so it's the reason I go racing. And whether you're a privateer or, uh, I don't know if we can call them factory boys at uh, the Manx Grand Prix, <laughs> but whether you're up that end of the paddock in a big shiny motorhome or down here, the weather still dictates the day for everyone. Absolutely, yeah, that's what we've all got an eye on, is the weather yeah. all the time, and the webcams and things like that. And how do you go from being as relaxed as you all seem to be at the minute to um, <clears throat> getting ready to go out? I suppose it's a, it's a bit of a facade really, it's a bit of a front. Because <laughs> we're, all, we're all watching the weather, we've all got a bit of anxiety. You're, you're, trying, to, you're trying to eat and trying to get, get ready in case you do go out and things yeah. like that. But, um, do you find your nerves are, are doing this a bit? It's or? a roller coaster, yeah. I mean, it's only the experience of coming for a number of years that we understand that there will be hold-ups, there will be cancelled sessions, yeah. uh, more difficult for the newcomers and certainly more difficult when I first came as well, that you, you get yourself all wound up and then you get let down and deflated and you yeah. don't eat very well. So I've learned over the years just to try and continue as normal, obviously deep down, you, you, you're watching the weather, how are you going to go or not, I mean, how mm. big a sandwich am I going to eat, yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that, but um, no, I think it's just the experience that does help now, and, and like you said, men just sat down here, not in the factory teams, whatever you say, um, I find it much more relaxed down here as well. Uh, I get the feeling sometimes some of those boys up there would rather be sat down here where you are. I think you're right, yeah, and, and some of the riders do say that. and uh, But they don't know that till they get there. <laughs> no, no, no. But you're not chucking spanners at the bike, all prepped, all good to go, quite happy. Absolutely, yeah, all done now. So I do all my own spannering as well. So, but yeah, we've got the bike all sorted. We, we ran an engine in last night. So we're good to go in the race and yeah, looking forward to it. If we go tonight for a couple of, a couple of laps, I'll run out tonight. Mm -hmm. It's looking like the race tomorrow is potentially only two laps. So, What uh, does that do for you? Is that better or worse? Uh, at my age, probably a little bit better, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, they just, we, my son's, I mean, he's, he, he's chief pit man, whatever yep. you want to call him, so he's always done me fueling, so he'll, he'll run the pit. Um, and he's very, very good at it. We've always had fantastic times uh, in the pit. It's nice for him to get involved because there's just literally me and my son here. Yeah. Um, and then we get friends to help us out. Um, but, but ultimately, it's just a complication. If we can avoid it, we'll take the positive out of it. It would be nice to get, I mean, to get the four laps and everything else, but I've always learned to take the positive out of what's going off because you've got to keep your, you've got to keep your head up at this place, yeah, yeah. otherwise it can get you down. Well, it sounds like you are, and this is, I know from some of the feedback in the, in the comment section on our daily roundup shows, people have been asking for me to speak to proper privateers, and a yeah. family-run privateer team like yours is exactly what they're looking for. So, Stu, I thank you for your time. No, thanks for taking the time. Good luck. I hope to you us. get out. Yes, me too. Cheers. Thank you very much. Andy Hornby. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Probably, Good stuff. Probably better than you. Those clouds behind us are telling a bit of a story for the day, really. It's uh, looking a bit ominous, isn't it, really? Um, I think the problem, well, you come, we're in a little bubble down here in the paddock, yeah. aren't you? And we've had some uh, great weather, been sunny down here, but on the mountain, we knew it was cloudy, and I think there's been rain on the other side, yeah, of, the, has, on yeah. the, other side of the course. So it's always difficult to tell, but um, you know, I think the thing for us, whenever 
you know, we've got a chance of a practice. You've got to get ready, whatever, because it can change last yeah. minute. All the schedule can change. It's already done today. So, you know, it's a lot of waiting around. I think you've got to prepare the same because otherwise you're just going to get caught out. What do you do? Where does your mind go when you don't know what the plan is? Yeah, well, that's difficult to keep, to keep focused, really. But, I mean, I think for us it's a little bit easier than the other guys. So we've done enough laps this week, which is yeah. great. So we've qualified. So really for us tonight is not that crucial. If it yeah. was, I feel sorry for a lot of the other guys who need to get out get some laps either to get qualify by doing enough laps or yep. qualify with the time so really for us it would just be a final test final shakedown we've made one just or two changes yeah what just, you already know exactly yeah, yeah. so if we don't ride tonight it's not too much of a problem but kind of you're still trying to keep you you know keep uh, keeping the front of mind that you may need to go and you may need to ride so yep. you know but uh, as i say a bit easier for us than uh, a lot of other people around the paddock for and sure. when you when you hear that tannoy ping and you get the call to jump into your leathers does your mind state kind of completely switch or are you are you prepared for it all day uh, I think we're prepared all day I think you know we've been here uh, you know what is it now day it's like being in the big brother this house is, day is, six. This, is this, this day is, six this is my roundup day six show is it day yeah. six like day six big brother house yep. isn't it we've been here for six days so you kind of you know, you've got into the swing of things, we know what's happening uh, and uh, you know the boys are ready, the bikes are ready, yeah. we know what we need to take up to Park Fermé, we know about scrutiny, you know you've kind of in the you know in the in the third things and you've got uh, you've got a routine then yeah. by now so really it's pretty easy for us to, if they're tannoyed now we'd be ready to go in a few minutes yeah, yeah. You know, it's that kind of thing and you drop everything off we go so if not yeah. you're playing cards with the boys and watching it, Netflix <laughs> if not yeah back to playing cards with the boys yeah <laughs> you can only fix the bike so many times we clean it so many times you know and we've done that so so yeah, we should be. Uh, I guess that's another question. Be. You know, you've got to know when to just call it and stop tinkering and tweaking and putting heat cycles in the things and you know. Yeah, you, you yeah you have really. Uh, I mean, I think whatever, whatever you do, you'll still get there will still be something you've forgotten or something to do last minute. But generally, you know, we're ready and you can only do so much. Uh, um, you know, to get ready. So yeah, we you know, otherwise you just you just tinker for tinkering's sake and it just drives you mad really. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Really, you need to you know trust yourself, trust what the guys have done. So that bike's ready, it's boxed off. Put a cover over it, or whatever you do, and then you know we're just good to go. Whenever. Well, we fingers crossed, you get out, mate. If not, I'll be along for a game of cards in about an hour. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you then. Take Cheers, care. Pal. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye. bye. So there you go, turns out the weather won today. No racing, no qualifying practice, absolutely nothing. The day wasn't without drama though. We caught up with John McGuinness. We're gonna to chuck to him now. If you thought that those guys that we've just heard from in the bottom of the paddock, trying to deal with the highs and lows of the weather dictating their racing day were bad enough, uh, John's story, well, it speaks for itself. John, I spoke to a few boys today from the shiny top end of the paddock all the way down to the grass at the bottom end about the, uh, the stress and pressure that the weather can sometimes put on racing. That mental roller coaster that you all seem to go on. It sounds like your roller coaster ride has come to a stop at the bottom though, and your 2022 Manx Grand Prix is over before it's even begun, really. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually want to believe it at this minute in time, this moment in time. I just think, I can't, I can't believe it. I've never not on the grid of this event so uh so just to confirm the windfield pattern that you were that you've been riding all week is the only bike that you were entered to ride yeah it let go in spectacular fashion at a crank bearing yeah i think so it's you know it's done something terminal yeah terminal and, and there's no going that, back that, no there's not there isn't to be fair you know we've had more, little bits with it look we have had little bits break misfires and bits and pieces over the years but uh well, the last few years it's just it's been going good you know I won the last three and uh, I know it's the best bike on the grid and Roger puts an amazing bike together and his team of boys Lee and, and the other boy they're all, you know they're all a bit deaf and a bit old and but they're so like they build a good bike build a great bike passionate about it you know and, and we we missed it you know I've missed it I've missed that pattern I've missed uh, not riding it for, since 2019 and you know we were here a few months ago with the TT that was epic and really really enjoyed every lap I've done on it. And now this, no classic senior Manx Grand Prix for John McGuinness 2022. But no. you, you and I have known each other for a long time. I know that you'll make the most of it and end up sat in your favourite hedge with your favourite bag of sandwiches yeah. and probably a cold beer and get to watch the racing. Something you rarely get to do. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, there's no point in me huffing and puffing and, and you know, pulling the slide out and in my motor home and heading back on the ferry. I might as well stay here. You know, Maisie's off school, my daughter. We love being here, you know. <clears throat> well, I'm not, I'm not the only one, you know. I, all I can hear behind me is the dyno going. Yep. You know, that's somebody Somebody still going final. racing. Yeah, somebody that's putting the final touches to it. And if we could, and we had a magic wand, then, you know, we could, we could build it. And uh, I just... You know, it just guts me because I, I, I love riding around the track and you yeah. only get a couple of bites of, of the cherry, you know, and, and for a long time we only got to do the TT, but now we get t two bites of the cherry to come and ride around here. So, uh, you know, we're not going to line up on the grid. The number one pattern's not going to be on the grid. So for me, I'm, yeah, I'll be a bit, I'll be a bit huffy tomorrow. Yeah. And then, you know, once it's over, I'll be all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go out and watch some more racing on on, the, on Monday as well. And, you know, we're, we're not rushing home back to back home, so. I know you've you've had an amazing career on everything from 252 strokes to big four strokes. This event gives you a chance to take your pick. And, and this year, obviously, you've only been in the classic senior class. But looking at what's gone on this week, if there was another bike that you could bring and run next year, which class would you go for? I get, I get, get on a I get again? super jealous when I when I see those big bikes up there. You know, them 750s and mm. or, you know the RC third, four, RC 45 was beautiful. Uh, the Norton's cool, you know the yeah. the, the TZ Rep thing. But I get, I get it, and I'm well jealous. When I get home, I'm not that bothered, you know. But I would really, really love to ride a 250 again. I mean, I've got some real nice. Yeah, your Vimto bike got, would go well in. A couple of cheeky 250s at home, and yeah, to be fair, they should they should be out riding. But you need a good. Need good people around you, and, and you know, as you see, you know, it's, it's hard to keep them going, and they were hard when they were new. But yeah, uh, the only thing that really disappoints me is that I can't fit on them anymore. Like I used to be able to fit on them. You know, when I last time I raced here on the 250 was 1999, and we won the race. Yeah. And if we didn't feel like that again, I'd be, <laughs> I'd kick myself and be that's, disappointed. That's so. quite a bar to set, though, to be fair, isn't it? I, I, I know, I know. But you know, I was broke down on the track, and I heard some of the 250s just. You know, coming out of Quarter Bridge, you can hear them coming yeah. out of Brandon Bridge and yeah. just going through the gearbox and, you know, young Jim Hyde and I thought... Oh, what a boy he is yeah, as well. Yeah, but kids, kids enjoying himself, he's... Yeah, one seventeen. Put myself, well. put myself in his position, yeah. you know, I know what he's thinking and where he's going and what it feels like to ride one of those rigid race bikes and, you know, Bruce sort of pinched me like record <laughs> like yeah. a few years ago. And, but Bruce is class act, you know, on the Paget bike, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I have to lose a bit of weight and get myself a bit more sharp, my pencil a bit sharper. Then it would be nice to, to ride a 250 again. But I would love to ride the Rogers pattern again. But yeah. you know, Do I, it justice. I look at I rode Rogers down there, and he's you know he's crying in his beer, and you know he's got a garage full of bits and <laughs> scrap now. So I feel so sorry for him and his team, and uh, they put so much effort in. And uh, you know we haven't, it hasn't it hasn't happened this year. But that's racing. You know, yeah. it's not easy. Not that's why. It, not everybody does racing because yeah. it isn't easy. But, uh, and yeah. as much as it probably pains you to answer this, if you're going to pick a winner in the race that you won't be running in now, where would you where would you put your fiver? Let's just go with the fiver. Do you know what? It's a hard one to call. I mean, it's uh, a good community though because we've we've lent our fuel tank to Stefano Benetti. Have so, you? Yeah, because oh, okay. he's only got a two. A two lap tank, which made it, it's a three lap race tomorrow, I believe, yeah. which we, he would have had to stop, which would have probably put him out of the race, to be fair. So, we, you know, our team, Rogers' team's lent him their straight three lap tank. Contention. So, you know, Stefano uh, definitely could, could do it. I, I, I'm biased because I want a Brit to win. <laughs> I'd love James, I'd love James Hillier to win it, yeah. you know, and it, you know, it depends what side of the bed. Young Lee gets out of it, yeah. but well, the three lap races buggered it for Ted Wuffs and Jamie Coward's Norton, hasn't it? Which yeah. is a shame, you know, because yeah. they, they had the little advantage for not stopping. So I just hope every bike finishes, everybody has a good time, the weather's good. And if I had a fiver, uh, James Ilya. Yeah. One last question before I let you go. It's a sunny day. It's the Manx Grand Prix, you got your sandwiches and your beer, where are you going to go and sit and watch the rest? Um, I, I don't know, I, want, I like to see somewhere fast and somewhere where you're really committed. And K-Trees or somewhere? Yeah, K-Trees maybe, I'll have my radio tomorrow, we'll have, uh, maybe take a pit board out or something, yeah. involve somebody, see what James wants to do, he's packed next to us, see if he needs a board, but uh, I don't know, somewhere. somewhere Anywhere quiet. the sun shines? Yeah, somewhere we're going to get bit by midges, isn't it? You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, John, I know you got it. I am too. I'm sure everyone else is. Cheers. Thanks for your time.
It's not all doom and gloom today though. There is, I'm gonna do that thing that people on YouTube do where they point to something that is Lee Johnston absolutely going at it on the Ashcourt Racing RC45. There's a full onboard lap on this channel right now for you to go and enjoy. Go and check it out. Tomorrow's another day, we've got to look forward. Hopefully these clouds will be gone and we'll be bathed in sunshine for three races tomorrow. The roads close at 11. We've got the Senior Classic, the Lightweight and the Junior Race to look forward to. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.